Jacob with another movie review for you guys. Crossing another movie off on the 100 movies bucket list. In today's video, I'm taking a look at the anime classic from Studio Ghibli, 2001's Spirited Away. So Spirited Away was released in 2001. It was directed by a legendary Japanese animator, Hayao Miyazaki. He's had an incredible career as an animated director, often labeled as the Japanese Walt Disney, and for good reason, because he's made some of the most incredible pieces of anime that I've ever seen, including great films such as Castle in the Sky, My Neighbor Totoro, Porco Rosso, Kiki's Delivery Service, Princess Mononoke, Howl's Moving Castle, The Wind Rises, and many more. Spear of the Wave is actually considered by many to be his best film, and this is a movie that is one of the staples of Studio Ghibli as a studio. This is actually one of the movies that helped popularize the Studio Ghibli catalog to a wider audience. Uh, this movie was overseen in the U.S. from an English translation headlined by John Lasseter when he was still working at Pixar at the time. He helped oversee an English translation which helped popularize Studio Ghibli's movies all the more. And this movie actually, in a big surprise, won the Academy Award for Best Animated Feature of 2002, winning over Lilo and Stitch, which many thought would be the film that would win that year. So that was pretty impressive. Obviously, I'm such a big fan of Studio Ghibli's work. And is Spirit of the Way a movie that's deserving of a spot on the 100 Movies bucket list? Or is it incredibly overhyped? Let's find out together. Spirit of the Way is a wondrous fantasy about a young girl, Chichiro, trapped in a strange new world of spirits. When her parents undergo a mysterious transformation, she must call on the courage she never knew she had to free herself and return her family to the outside world. Man, I love this movie. There, there's so much imagination and creativity to this film that's among the finest pieces of animated art that I've ever seen. This is actually my second favorite, not only my second favorite Miyazaki film, but my second favorite Studio Ghibli film behind Castle in the Sky. I definitely need to review more Studio Ghibli films on my YouTube channel because this would actually be the first one I've ever reviewed. And sadly, this is the only Studio Ghibli film that's a part of the 100 movies bucket list. But I do love this film. Mainly because of how imaginative it is. Miyazaki had such a creative mind in creating this original world filled with rich mythology, interesting, strange, eccentric characters, some of which have some very uncanny designs to them, but, but you can enjoy the craft and creativity that Miyazaki put in the film that it's mind-blowing to actually see, even if the designs are a little off-putting at times. And I just love how adventurous this movie is. It also helps you got Chichiro, the main girl, who is a pretty enjoyable character. I think she is a pretty relatable character. You can definitely see yourself in her shoes as she's trying to adjust into a whole new world, trying to save her parents after they turn into pigs in <laughs> a quite a disturbing sequence, I must add. And, you know, she wants to get out of this strange environment that she knows that she's not a part of and wants to get back to her normal life. And this adventure does open her up in a little ways because before this adventure she was just an average normal girl and she didn't really have much experience with hard work and everything like that. But, but this story and adventure does mature her in a way that where she becomes a very grounded, relatable, and compelling character. And I enjoyed her character arc throughout the entire film. I enjoyed a lot of the eccentric supporting characters, these strange oddball characters. I think helped make the film quite an enjoyable watch, whether it's Haku, who's his servant, who also turns into a dragon. There's the boiler maker guy that's eight, this multiple armed man who boils the bathhouse that Jichiro ends up working at to help survive in this world. There's like this big giant baby that's 
kind of creepy, but you got to love the character because of how eccentric the baby is. And then, then of course, there's the magical witch that runs uh, this bathhouse who is quite crazy and mad and over the top. But I really enjoy that character and how creative she is and her powers. The movie is such a delight to watch. I especially love its attention to detail. I love how the movie takes its time to establish its world and to also further flesh out Chichiro's character arc. Even some of the quieter moments are actually some of the most stunning moments in the entire film, whether it's my, one of my favorite scenes is actually when Chichiro and this spirit creature named No Face are traveling on this train and just the whole movie just stops and asks the audiences to breathe while we explore this new world and just see how visually stunning it is. The animation is remarkable. I'm always blown away when I see a Studio Ghibli film. Just their craft and attention to detail and crafting these worlds and having beautiful artwork to them is simply staggering. I love it whenever Studio Ghibli makes a new film. It is a bit of a shame because they've been on hiatus for a good few years and I miss a new Studio Ghibli film. I love movies that are as imaginative and creative as Spirit of the Way. Now I mentioned John Lasseter helped oversaw the English translation and that's the version I watched and the crew at Disney and Pixar actually did a great job at bringing it to life for a new audience. The movie does have a pretty remarkable voice cast and it's fun actually naming all the voices because a lot of them you recognize from other Disney movies like the actress who voiced Chichiro also voiced Lilo and Lilo and Stitch which I thought was quite amusing and then uh, Haku the servant dragon character is voiced by Jason Marsden who you may know as the guy who voiced Max in a Goofy movie and then David Ogden Stiers who voiced Cogsworth and Beauty and the Beast is the Boilermaker guy you also hear Susan Egan's voice who voiced Meg in Hercules and also John Ratzenberger Pixar's good luck charm who up to this date has appeared in every single Pixar movie. He even has a voice in Spirit of the Way, which is pretty awesome. I love Spirit of the Way. It's one of my absolute favorite Studio Ghibli films. It's super creative, it's super imaginative, it's super original, and it's one of the most visually dazzling animated films I have ever seen. It's one of my absolute favorite Ghibli films. It's currently at number two, like I said, behind Castle in the Sky, which I definitely need to do a review of that film too sometime because, oh man, that movie is just as awesome. But I do love the heart of Spirit of the Way. It's a very imaginative adventure. It's very weird. It can be a little trippy at times, but I do love the experience of Spirit of the Way. Chichiro is a relatable character. The music is phenomenal. The characters are great. And all around, an excellent animated adventure, and I'm glad that a Studio Ghibli film is represented on the 100 movies bucket list. I'm going to give Spirit of the Way a 5 out of 5 stars and on the 100 point scale it's getting a 100 out of 100. So that wraps up my review of Spirit of the Way as part of my 100 movies bucket list series. I will review movies that are represented on this poster which are considered by many to be some of the greatest films of all time. I'll leave a link in the description below for a playlist where you can catch up on some of the past reviews that I've covered in this series so far. A wide variety of cinema represented, so if you're a hardcore movie fan, this is a series you definitely need to catch up on, so click the link in the description below to see more, and don't forget to click the subscribe button and notification bell to be notified of future videos in this series. Hope you enjoyed this review, and if you've seen Spirit of the Way, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the film. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, put the subscribe button to see more content, and the notification bell next to it to be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, besides movie reviews, I also do TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!